Hello everyone and welcome to Otaku Show, the internet's newest series of hot takes nobody asked for. I'm one of your hosts, Alex. And I'm the other host, Jack. And boy do we have a real doozy for you all. Now that the Yonko Saga is over, gain some real insight into the two highest active bounty crews in the series, the Ridlong Pirates and the Beast Pirates. And what better to do with that insight than milk it for content? You said it, Alex. Today we'll be putting the recently dethroned Emperors in the shoes of Whitebeard in his final bout against the full might of the Marines in the War of the Best. Now, to start off, we should establish some ground rules. The event will play out two years ago and it will happen instead of the battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. The characters getting executed will be Ace's equivalent in their uh, respective crews. A traitor could appear if one makes sense to. And finally, the difference between failure and success is if two of three conditions are not met. The Alco dies, the captured member dies, or a majority of the crew has been wiped out. Now with the rules out of the way, why don't we recap the original Marine Ford War so we can have a better idea of what we're working with once things start. Good idea, Jack. So, for those of you who remember, we'll be brief. But the War of the Best was sparked by the capture and scheduled execution of Porcus D. Ace, the Whitebeard Pirate's second commander. The execution took place in the, at the time, Marine headquarters, with the full force of the Marines on guard, along with five of the civil lords of the sea. Blackbeard isn't there because he's still recruiting an impel down, and Jimbe isn't there because he's abstaining from fighting due to his connections to Whitebeard. Whitebeard, using bubble coating, sneaks his flagship and two others into the main harbor. Then using his elbow fruit, he creates a tsunami, which is frozen by Okiji, thus creating a battlefield for the two factions. And boy do they clash. The admirals throw their weight around and Whitebeard's commanders follow suit. And eventually, Whitebeard's subordinate captains arrive and they start contending with the newly revealed pacifistas. Eventually, Luffy and a selection of prisoners from the Gold Down arrive and start causing havoc in favor to Whitebeard. Mostly, uh, Crocodile gets a bit greedy and tries to kill Whitebeard uh, unsuccessfully. Uh, if someone does uh, manage to stab Whitebeard, though, Maelstrom Spider squared uh, after being tricked by a Kainu with some pretty weak sauce reasoning. Uh, but they're pirates, not geniuses, I guess. A lot more fighting ensues. Luffy and his copter is hockey by accident. Ease gets out thanks to a cleverly disguised Mr. Three, and he is then killed after some playground taunted by a Kainu. Very sad. Anyway, Whitebeard gets some good licks in after that, but then gets caught in a drive-by by the Blackbeard Pirates, and he's yeah. double for the stolen. And before Kainu can kill Kobe, Shanks comes in and stops the war, and everyone goes home. The end. Now we'll bring up the key moments as they become important later. Now we'll be getting into the main subject of our video, the Big Mom Pirates. And before we stuff the Charlotte family's big fat asses in the Marine Ford, let's break down the biggest family in anime first. 